Hello everybody and welcome back to Be Pharma Wise. In last couple of videos, we are discussing about uh, chemical bond formation and we have started the discussion of hybridization. I have already covered sp3 hybridization in great details. So if you haven't checked those videos, please do check it out. I will give the links in the description box below. I will also try to link them here somewhere in the i button. Today's topic of discussion is sp2 hybridization which is in continuation to that sp3 hybridization video and we are talking about sp2 hybridization of carbon. So let's start the discussion of carbon being in its ground state and in the ground state its configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So the second shell is the valency shell or the outermost shell and the configuration is looking somewhat like this 2s2 and in p we know there are three equal energy shell 2px 2py 2pz and two electrons will be placed like this hmm? so this is the ground state configuration of carbon but we have already seen that carbon will never form bonds in its ground state so it will go to excited state so how it goes it will promote one of the electrons from 2s to the empty 2pz so in excited state what is going to be the electronic configuration of carbon in 2s there is only one electron left and in p there will be three electrons now these two were originally there and this new came from the 2s so this is how the configuration in excited state will look like 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 now we have seen that when carbon forms four bonds with four other atoms hmm, then it goes into sp3 hybridization state but what if carbon wants to form bonds with only three other atoms like in ethylene what is the structure of ethylene this is the structure of ethylene c double bond c and each carbon is bonded to two hydrogens so look at this carbon this carbon is at at a time bonded to these two hydrogens and this one carbon so only three other atoms and this carbon is also bonded to three other atoms now when carbon has to bond with three other atoms it will not take the efforts to mix all four atomic orbitals together to form four hybrid orbitals no it will play smart and it will mix only the required atomic orbitals to form the hybrid orbitals so as it wants to form bonds with only three atoms it will take one s and only two p orbitals hmm? and it will form sp2 hybrid orbitals and this 2pz will be left unhybridized as it is now after mixing this 2s and 2 of these 2p carbon will form three equal energy equal shape hybrid orbitals which we will refer as sp2 hybrid orbitals and along with this sp2 this 2pz don't forget this this is 2pz orbital with one unpaired electron which is left unhybridized never forget this in sp2 state of carbon there will be three equal energy sp2 hybrid orbitals along with one 2pz unhybridized orbital containing one unpaired electron now in this state we are going to learn how carbon goes and forms this kind of molecule so let's start discussing the formation of ethylene and through the orbital picture the concept will be clear so let's start so here as i told you carbon has attached to only three other atoms so carbon must be in sp2 this carbon is also in sp2 so i will start to draw the carbon right so uh, okay okay first let's discuss the geometry and orientation etc so three atomic orbit or three hybrid orbitals having one unpaired electron each now as i told you electrons will try to repel each other so the um, geometry will be decided in such a way that repulsive forces are minimum so how you are going to arrange three hybrid orbitals how a hybrid orbital looks like this a big lobe and a small lobe so how you are going to arrange three lobes far apart from each other obviously at the or like this they will form a regular 
trigonal planar geometry so they will be placed at the corners of a regular triangle so uh, the angle will be obviously 120 degrees for a triangle it will be 120 degrees and these three will be planar like this one two three they are planar you are you understanding planar structures like uh, imagine a paper here and the one in this plane one here one here all in one plane but don't forget about that 2pz that 2pz will extend like this if this is your plane of uh, 3sp2 hybrid orbitals this will be your 2pz above and below the plane perpendicular to the plane so if this is your sp2 then i will show it this is going to be your 2pz above and below the plane and these three will be in the single plane these three are in single plane so sp2 hybrid orbitals and 2pz like this hmm? so now using this what is the bond angle of sp2 120 now using this information now let's draw the orbital picture for ethylene so i will draw carbon in sp2 like this one two and three hmm? bond angle is going to be 120 i will not forget the unhybridized 2pz orbital this is my sp2 hybridized carbon hmm? now this carbon again it will have one two and three sp2 hybrid orbitals along with one empty empty as in unhybridized 2pz orbital now i have already shown you one axial overlap of sp2 sp2 to form one of the bonds between carbon so one of the bonds between these two carbons is going to be a sigma bond where the axial overlap happens if you are not sure of how a sigma and a pi bond is formed do check the video of chemical uh, bond formation i will mention the link in the description box below so one of the bond is going to be a sigma bond be with this carbon and this carbon now these two hydrogens they are going to form axial overlaps with these two sp2 orbitals right this is what is the bond character sp2 s what is the bond character for this sigma bond sp2 sp2 right similarly two hydrogens will form sp2 s bonds here sp2 s so these two sigma bonds these two sigma bonds are similar this sigma bond is having the character of sp2 sp2 for these two carbons now who is remaining this 2pz and this 2pz is remaining and they are also having one unpaired electrons and they are having the same alignment they are you know they're alignment their orientation is proper because they both are in the same plane so if they approach properly they may develop a side by side overlap or a lateral overlap which we call as pi bond so when they come closer they will develop a pi bond here and the pi bond you know it extends above the plane as well as below the plane so the two bonds here we are showing carbon double bond carbon one of the bond becomes your pi bond and one of the bond is your sigma bond so this you have to have to you know remember that whenever there is a double bond one bond is sigma bond which is formed by axial overlap of actual hybrid orbitals and one of the bonds is pi bonds which is formed by lateral overlap of unhybridized 2pz orbital so this is going to be the orbital picture for ethylene you may draw similar orbital diagrams for other atoms where carbon has attached with three other atoms by formation of a double bond so this is how sp2 hybridization of carbon will look like now let's discuss the sp hybridization in the upcoming video so stay tuned and do subscribe if you haven't yet i will see you in that next video till then take care bye bye